All right. Welcome everyone for this uh, community call on the 12th September 2024. Um, I say we can go with the normal team updates as usual. And then if anyone wants to discuss about anything uh, or ask anything to the SDK team in general, you can. Um, and then we have a small presentation of Ignite CLI by uh, Tobias from Ignite. I'll just have to click admit for new people, but all right, let's just start. So basically we have released uh, Olympus 052 beta one. So it took some time, but in the meantime, we have managed to finish our internal audits. So all modules like we did not like beta before uh, our internal audit was completed. Now all module audited and uh, we already started integration with IBC and um, Um, so on the IBC side, there is already a feature branch to uh, to, to play with O52. And uh, there is already people working on the V2 integration, uh, the V2 compatibility with IBC. And then we'll start to do that as well with Cosm Wasm. Um, so you can expect a RC of uh, Olympus when we'll have uh, completed that integration. And we will be, uh, yeah, we're basically waiting on those main modules, let's say, to to have integrated, to have tested, and uh, before we tag RC. But you're already able to um, to upgrade uh, right now to play with it, just only without um, uh, just without IBC. Correct, Chris. Let me for add that here. All right, that's indeed the pure homework code that targets, I believe, the feature branch uh, for the Office of compatibility. Um, next with like, we've been currently still working very much on a survey tool. Uh, let, me, let me ask about this custom was, um, I mean, we were chatting roughly about it. Yeah. Um, sure. is, there, is the team already like acknowledging uh, doing the update or still in there? So first, We are like this is the comes actually from the SDK team that's doing this work of integration because uh, 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 we, we we decided that we're going to help a bit those modules so that the integration will be a bit faster and uh, the it, we're starting by basically making module a bit more ready for O52 and for V2 by simp simply removing the usage of the SDK context for instance so we start by a small PR in there and then. Uh, Then we can just uh, bump 252 uh, uh, like, like Marco did, like way faster, and to have it directly as well compatible with V2. Uh, yeah, so it will start slowly by small PR in there, and then there will be a big PR, and hopefully the Cosm Wasm team, the Wasm D team can, uh, can create a feature branch or integrate it fast. Um, I believe as well, uh, as also depends here, there is intention test. That uh, that is, I think, starting as well the integration. So that's great, um, as IBC was blocked on it. But on our side, we see some progress, and hopefully, we'll uh, we'll be able to talk RC uh, sooner than later. Any question on that point? Otherwise, we can just discuss about Survey 2. Yeah. So Survey 2, as you may know, is like a rewrite of the core of the SDK, and that's something that we've been busy uh, since the beginning of the year. Uh, it's coming to an end. Uh, we are only writing all the tests to ensure that the testing that we had on base app uh, is as well present for uh, for Survey 2. So we want to know that all modules are working the same with Survey 2, and uh, there is no regression or anything. So we're basically uh, porting the test and porting our testing framework to uh, To, uh, uh, to know that uh, everything works fine. But from that point on, we will be as well uh, tagging alpha when uh, the testing will be uh, close to an end. Uh, but you can already play with it. And there is already in the O52 branch, uh, if you do, are not afraid of solo version, there is a SEMA V2 that shows uh, basically how you can use, um, how you can use, um, or you can build your SEMA survey to application with rent every two application. And additionally, um, we have as well tagged the 
core v1 which is basically the, finally the stable apis uh for modules so um before uh, you always had breaking changes between sdk version etc uh in module wiring and we want to uh to show everyone that okay this time has finally came to an end uh from core v1 there will be stable api for modules uh, as it's like server and uh those modules will be uh, compatible with survey 2 and or if you want uh base app world though so not more of 52. uh yeah any question on survey 2 as well we can just throw through all right yes Chris. yes so we're integrating gordian with the server v2 and working on ibc integration now off of marco's pr and one thing that we just ran into this morning is like how are consensuses or others expected to get say like transaction hashes to what's happened af after the STF, the uh, state transition function? Is the SDK planning to store that or is there some way that we're meant to grab that from the SDK or how do, exactly does that flow work? Okay, yeah, um, basically how it works is you have, uh, uh, basically, you want to get a transaction hash, which is right now, I believe this is all handled by uh, the Comet BFT server. Um, but that's something I actually need to check out on top of my head. Uh, I can come back to you unless someone else here from the SDK team knows. Uh, but I'll, I'll check on that. I'll write something and I'll come back to you. Thanks. Isn't that work Comet BFT was doing or is doing? Yeah, is doing. Yeah, as far as I know, this is done by a command server, but yeah, it's not. I don't think that's something we've um, stored because Comet was doing it. It'll be kind okay. of like a feature. It'll be like a feature add. Um, yeah, to the SDK. Yeah, definitely. Maybe it, uh, it makes sense. Um, if there is no more question, what are we working on currently is like, now that we have something in the, in the back is on the integration and finishing testing, we can finally start to work on all the cool stuff. Uh, and we already started to work on implementing Bank V2, which will be uh, um, a simplified version of the bank module um uh, with simpler apis in general and token factory including to it uh we as well uh, starting the work on uh staking v2 uh, this is in preparation to uh, which will be more than a rewrite of the staking module and i'll explain that later in the next section as we need input from the community for that work uh sooner than later and as well, there is some work that I already started in Crosslink. We have uh, we're investigating how to uh, to run basically uh, to have also module in also language and have also runtime in also language. Uh, so this is what basically take most of the time, and uh, we we have to make this available by the next um, SDK version. So nothing will change right now. Of fifty two, as it's future frozen. So anything that we'll be working on right now, that we're working on right now is getting into the next uh, SDK version. And yeah, there's plenty of exciting stuff I have to say. Um, and we have like a few working groups running that we need uh, an upcoming, that we need community to, to come in and share the ideas maybe if they want. Like we have the Bank V2 that is already running and the implementation has started, but it's not too late if you have uh, something you'd like to see in Bank V2 to, to join and we can discuss about it. Um, there is an upcoming signing working group where uh, you'll be, uh, we'll be checking basically uh, how we can re reduce the amount of sign modes because currently we have like so many in the SDK, there is direct aux, textual, etc. Uh, et um, so we want to reduce to maybe, hopefully we'll see if it wallets can and everything to just one uh but before making such an enormous change we need to check as well with the community and wallets and change in generals uh so if there was anyone interested 
uh, feel free to send in, send a message uh, in the chat or to me or to anyone in the SDK team. We will make sure when there is the first uh, working group meeting of it that you included. And as I've mentioned later, there is a staking V2 working group where uh, we'll be thinking we're in the preliminary phase of designing this module. Um, the pre preliminary is having a plugin system with a very simple uh, validator uh, set manager, and then you can uh, you can add plugins to make it a POA module or to make it like a, a DPoS module, etc. As I've said, it's very preliminary stage, but uh, we'll be starting into uh, uh, creating an ADR this month and uh, having a tentative design for it. Uh, but any input is obviously uh, welcome and wanted. Anyone that uh, that says I already am interested into uh, joining one of those working groups, then I can rewrite that down and send you the invites. Uh, I will send you the DM. I will have one question there. All right. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, this is uh, this is the bag that we're back at working on features after uh, a long time on Olympus. So that's great. Uh, we'll have probably even more to share for in the next, uh, for the next mini call next month. Uh, but I think we can already give a place to questions if there is any questions. Uh, if you have any issue with integrating with O52, uh, we're here to help. Um, I have a question related to the compatibility matrix, something that we discussed and something I think to appear. So with V52, the bank V2, I mean, we can either integrate bank V1 or bank V2, right? We, we are not able to integrate both. Um, bank V2 will not be released for O52, actually. Uh, it's a, that's part of the current work that we're doing, redesigning, redesigning mm -hmm. a few modules. Uh, in O52, actually, there is a few new modules, such as Epoch or Protocol Pool, but there is no uh, V2, V2 module as uh, we are, uh, that we're working on. Uh, that's something we'll see if we can make it uh, uh, work on O52. But right now we just think of making work with the next version and uh, redesigning every redesigning everything for ground up. But the idea eventually is um, to have Bang V1 use the logic of Bang V2 so that um, uh, like they share they will share like the same state or at least the migration will be like lazy or everything. Uh, we, 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 the idea is not to break everyone. Obviously, uh, when you migrate to Bank V2, you have an enormous mi migration of all balances and everything. Uh, so that's some, definitely something we consider. Uh, but the, that won't be released for V2. I mean, the, I would be the most scared about IBC, to be honest. Like doing a migration in a one thing, it's OK, <laughs> but yeah. Bank impacts IBC. For sure. No, that's why we have in mind like backward compatibility and Bank V1 is not going anywhere. Um, so, yeah. Anything else? Otherwise, maybe uh, Tobias von Ignite can, uh, can start presenting. Sure, if there's no further questions, or else. I won't take too much of your time. Um, just want to uh, remind you of uh, the Ignite CLI tool that helps you build a Cosmos SDK blockchain. And we are trying to be uh, very close to the Cosmos SDK development. And so uh, from our perspective, we think it might be a great playground, actually, for you to check out new ideas, what's coming from the Cosmos SDK development team. Um, scaffold your own blockchain from there uh just just try out stuff and see if it breaks maybe port your modules over to the newest version and see how it reacts and maybe there's some tools uh, from our side to help you uh, upgrade or then find errors or um, kind of just just trying to easier your workflow so with the latest cosmos uh, with the latest ignite version so actually we we'll probably release it in one or two days um we want to get all the 
highlight of the Cosmos SDK version of 52 as well into Ignite. So uh, for for uh, the base app support for Cosmos SDK version uh, 0.52, and uh, just what Julian just mentioned, the uh, server v2 or enhanced RPC uh, gRPC logging. Um, we have a lot of tools in place for you to help. I'll quickly uh, share my screen if I'm allowed to do that, Julian. And uh, just guide you through a little bit. So um, you, you're probably aware of kind of the very regular um, Ignite scaffold chain. So in this example, oh no. We have the wrong Go version. Oh no. It was just working. Give me give me some seconds. Um, actually, I, I don't think I, I'll need to uh, present all of this. I think most of you are aware of Starport and then later Ignite. Um, so you're just scaffolding your new chain. Make sure you're on the Cosmos SDK version 0.52. Uh, and then uh, you can just uh, start working from there. We have tools like uh, Ignite Chain Serve that, that allows you to um, to to kind of have hot reloading for your module, so you just keep developing. It'll catch all your errors in um, uh, at the, at the time in real life, and and you can start debugging your chain very easily. Uh, we have a new command as well, just released last week. It's called uh, Ignite Testnet in place. So if you have a configuration of a mainnet or a testnet, you can just use Ignite to kind of um, start from from that chain state and and throw your testnet live. So um, feel free to check out um, the latest Ignite features. And if you want to find a good playground to test your modules or test your uh, chain or upgrades, feel free to use Ignite. Thanks for uh, the time and thanks for Julian for the opportunity. No problem. It's always great to see uh, tools that integrate fast uh, with uh, this version. When our 52 support. Sorry, there was an echo. I couldn't hear that. I was just asking when OG52 support. For Ignite, that should be uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. So extremely soon. Oh, wow. Cool, cool, great. Um, if no one has a uh, more question for us, uh, I guess we'll talk to you online and we can give you back uh, 30 minutes. All right. Have a great day. Bye.